बोले लतीथा ओके संजय संजय मेहंदर गजराज संजू पूजा सुखना ममता कोमल पूजा टीना मगन माय नेम इज मगन Hi this is Christine of Girl Traveler today we are in Pushkar Pushkar is a small quiet pilgrimage town in Rajasthan which is known for its holy lake and its annual camel festival You can easily walk to get around and it's very tourist friendly Here we have a goat watering hole I think Today we're traveling during the daytime. Um, going from Delhi to Pushkar or Ajmer, and from there we're gonna take a bus to Pushkar. festival season uh, in Pushkar this room i got for 1000 rupees normally it might go for something like 500 rupees on a non festival festival day so that's like a big difference this is a pretty decent room i get a flat screen tv the internet when it works sometimes it can be a little slower spotty my bathroom thank you western toilet i've been staying in the 400 to 1000 rupee range um, and I've been doing pretty well actually. My guest house just gave me what they call the Pushkar passport wrist wrap. It's kind of like a blessing. It's free to enter the, the lake area, um, but many chats will approach you. They will try and get you to pay money for these blessings. And if you don't, they sort of curse you. So this is kind of like my um, amulet. So here we are at Pushkar Lake. There are gats. Um, along the lakeside and coming down you'll see a lot of donation boxes for them as well as you'll have to get through the touts for trying to sell you flowers to make wishes and say prayers for you. Coming down to the lake is, is really nice. A lot of local people take a dip here. They consider the waters holy. You have to be aware that some people they take a bath here in the lake uh, so they, you'll see nudity every now and then. We're at the Brahma temple, or the Brahma temple, and um, right now I guess we're not open until 1.30 and 3. When I come back, I know there's going to be a long line. I have to really think about whether or not I want to go in there. So you're not allowed to take bags in. Uh, you have to leave them at lockers, um, as well as your footwear. I'd like to take you in. No photography allowed, and actually I have way too much valuables in my bag to go in there and leave it in lockers. Pushka has many, many temples. Um, by going in, you will find the, the design of this temple is very intricate. This is a Hindu temple. Vishnu temple. So these are the two artists of this beautiful temple. Or design this, or design that. We are at the Gudwara uh, in Pushkar and it is a beautiful Sikh temple, uh, I think of all marble. When you first enter the, the temple, you have, to, you have to cover your head. If you don't have your own headdress, you can always take one from outside. The Camel Fair of Pushkar is held each October to November. It attracts over 400,000 tourists and over 11,000 camels and horses. Camel and horse traders come to the fair in order to sell their livestock to interested buyers. The Mela Grounds of the fair holds events throughout the day. Different events going on and there are also um, horse exhibitions as well as, of course, camel rides. Some of these sellers, they, they um, uh, I guess they hairdress their camels and they kind of decorate them so that they're attractive. Some of them shave the fur off and paint um, camels or they'll make little designs on them or even put little accessories or ornaments on them.
Shopping in Pushkar is easy. The main street is like one long shopping strip, springing into offshoot streets with cafes and shops, selling Indo-Western Rajasthani-inspired clothing. This for Shiva. That's for Shiva? Good luck. Ah, okay. There are many sword shops here in Pushkar. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Those swords are very lethal. It's almost kind of scary. I wouldn't want war to break out here. India wouldn't be India without its tempting street food. Sweet shop cafes and samosas with sweet chutney sauce. Mm. This one is a local favorite. Now, even though India is not really known for their falafels, um, in Pushkar, I had to come to try this place simply because every time I walk past this this joint, it's always crowded. And this Pavan restaurant is known or touted to have the best falafel in town. So I just had to put it to the test. I ordered a veg fry uh, falafel for about 100 rupees. Damn! Good. 100 rupees. You ain't gonna find that anywhere. So here I am in an out of the blue restaurant and I'm having myself a lemon mint drink and it's kind of like a nice frosty drink. It's perfect. You can taste the mint and the lime juice in it and of course it's just nice and frosty. They make this with mineral water so it's safe uh, to drink for foreigners. I should have had this earlier in the day. You can get a, a nice view of the gap. Today, they've, they've got hot air balloons out there. Sunset hot air balloon ride. Well, I'm not on the ride, but I'm having a cool drink instead. I've been at this, this hill mountain for about half an hour and I keep blowing bubbles in the front of my teeth. Looking at the steps, calculating which is going to be the, the easiest. At least we know I'm still getting reception up here. But we finally made it. We're at the top of Savitri um, Mandir or Savitri Temple. And this is the highest point in Pushkar where you can look down, see a 360 uh, view of Pushkar. As well as catch the sunset. Now that it's getting dark, the town is starting to light up. And this is Savitri Temple at dusk. Wow. I was told to go straight. Um, but it's getting a little darker. <laughs> yeah. It is now um, around 6.15. Night has fallen really quickly. You get to do a lot of sightseeing at night. And so even though um, a, there are people who might believe that it's not too safe. I feel like as long as I can keep my street smarts about me, pay attention to things going on around me, then I will find safety wherever I go. I don't know what... Okay, I'm gonna ask someone. Okay, I'm hearing activity and like a church nearby, so I can't be that far. And this looks like maybe a residential area. Whenever I see women, that puts me at ease. And thank goodness, here we are. Back to civilization. The whole lake is kind of celebrating puja, and this is kind of like a prayer. And across the way at the Brahma Ghat, there is having a huge puja going on. And around the lake, you'd see all the divyas, or the little candle lights, lining the steps of the each ghat. At this ghat, you have like these wonderful chalk drawings that are also lit with divyas and the level of creativity and beauty of um, the celebration. So it makes me want to come back to India continually. If you only choose to stay indoors in the evenings, then you will miss out on a large part of fun India. And that is because at night, a lot goes on. Just make sure that wherever you go happens to be crowded street areas. Hi. Hi. We have like 10 camels. 
because we are using them just because of you know they are huge animals to to maintain their you know like to them and to ourselves and our families and we feed them they work for us and we work for them as well how much does it cost to maintain a camel to maintain a camel like probably like 400 a day 400 rupees per day they are nice to us and they work for us otherwise they also understand anything you know if i don't treat them well they will not uh, they will never let people sit on them you know?